Hey everyone, so today we're going to be looking at how to install Google Chrome onto a MacBook Pro. And of course this should work for pretty much any Mac, whether you're on the uh, previous MacBook Air or uh, whether you're on a smaller MacBook Pro. I've got the 15 inch here. Uh, since I just got it, uh, I'm having to go through and kind of reinstall all my applications. Uh, which to me is kind of nice. I'm sure that I could import certain things from my other Mac, but uh, I actually like going through and uh, reinstalling things because it gives me kind of a fresh start with a, a new computer. So uh, to install Google Chrome, all you've got to do is just go to, of course, www.google.com slash Chrome, and you click on the Download Now button. And of course, it's going to give you a download Chrome for Mac. I've already actually downloaded this, so I didn't have to wait for the download. Uh, so of course, once you accept those terms and conditions, it will basically go ahead and start your download and looks like it's going to download it again here for me since all I did was hit the, uh, the forward option or the, the forward key. So now I suppose I've got two copies of the installer but no problem. Uh, so what I'll do here is basically just come over here and I open up Google Chrome.dmg uh, just by clicking it from my downloads pop up down here at the bottom and it will tell me that it's opening Google Chrome.dmg verifying checking volumes and of course the installation is just as difficult as I click on the Google Chrome icon and then just drag it down so it should actually copy that right over to my applications folder and since everything's kind of self-contained it should go ahead and do that and looks like that's done so now of course I should just be able to pull up my spotlight and just type in Chrome and of course it says Google Chrome's an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So I'll click on open. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to check it as my default browser, set it as my default browser? Well, yes I do. Uh, do I want to help make Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google? Well, I suppose. That's fine. I can always turn it off later in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to open that. Uh, of course it'll say, do you want to keep or uh, change your default web browser to Chrome or keep using Safari? I do want to use Chrome, uh, sorry Apple, but uh, Chrome just as my default browser has been for uh, quite some time now, I've gotten so used to it. Uh, so now it's going to ask me to sign into Chrome so that I can kind of personalize it. It'll basically download my bookmarks and uh, so that's all it takes to, to download Google Chrome. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, if you've got any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below. Uh, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, for more of these technology videos or videos on some of my travel and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the, the future.